Hi, everybody. Brian Duffy in the 19 News Digital Studios as we continue to cover what has been called a mass shooting in uh, the village of New London. Quickly, I am going to show you a map of the area to give you some perspective on what is going on here and where we are talking about. This is on the border of Lorraine and Huron County. Right there, you see that red pin. That is the Windy Acres apartment complex right there in downtown uh, New London off of Park Avenue, uh, uh, just south of Miner Street. There's a New London Recreation Park there. There's a golf course there. There's a middle school across the street. Um, and again, we are dealing with a mass shooting at this apartment complex. Uh, what I want to do now is go to our 19 News reporter, Stephen Hernandez, who is live on the scene, just got there, and Stephen has learned some new information. Stephen, what can you tell us? Thank you, Brian. Right now, it is a quiet scene. You can hear the trees more than anything else. This behind me is Windy Acres, the apartment complex. You can see some police cruisers, one with the lights on. We're still trying to find more information on what happened here. What we do know is that earlier at some point this morning, they report, there were reports of a mass shooting. No word yet on how many people were involved, how many people were hurt, who may have died if there were any deaths, or no word on the shooter yet and whether or not anyone has been arrested. We've been trying to reach out to the chief of police for New London, Joe Hicks. I'm being told by uh, manager for the apartment management team that he's currently investigating the situation and would be available later. We are towing, well, we're being told to move a little bit. There is a truck, a crime scene unit truck that is trying to make their way through, but there's still a lot of information that's yet to come. You may actually see the truck make their way inside right now, but as you can see, still a lot of teams coming through, still a lot of authorities trying to make their way to the apartment to investigate and figure out for sure what's going on, what did go on. Okay, hey Stephen, you had mentioned something to me uh, earlier while we were talking about the residents there and what was going on with them. What, what, can you take us through that? As we see, that's a BCI van going through uh, Bureau of Criminal Investigation. That's from the Ohio Attorney General's office. Stephen, what can you tell us, uh, what do you know about the residents who live in that building right now? We can't tell you anything specific about any residents. No one really is here where we're standing right now, but we're being told that they were evacuated from the apartment complex. And we're told that only residents and family members of residents that if they need any assistance to make their way out, those are the only ones that are going in. So no one is really making their way through other than authority, people of authorities or investigative teams, but residents are trying to make their way out from what we're able to gather, that evacuation is pretty much done now. So now it's a matter of waiting to get more information as this investigation continues. Uh, hold tight there just for one second. Um, I, I want to run through what we have uh, learned so far this morning. Um, we do know that the, the Huron County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that New London police are, are handling a mass shooting in their jurisdiction. The dispatcher told 19 News that New London police is handling the investigation and could not further comment. The Hur Huron County Coroner's Office has referred all questions to the New London Police Department. We have confirmed that BCI, and we uh, just saw that BCI van going through, that's it right there. Uh, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation, it's behind that, it's that white van just uh, going past there. That is from the Ohio Attorney General's office. They are on the scene, they're active now, and that investigation is ongoing. We've also confirmed this with the village of New London, their mayor, Toby Thomas. He tells 19 News that he is aware of the shooting at the Windy Acres apartment complex uh, and that uh, he didn't have any further details. However, he was trying to speak with the village's police chief on the matter. Let's go back out to the area. Okay, Stephen, we appreciate your help in all of this. Um, anything new out there that you can tell us that you've noticed since uh, I've been on the air here? Everything appears to be status quo. Yeah, the only thing we were able to notice, I'm not sure if the cameras caught it, there were two vehicles that made their way out. That's the only kind of movement we've seen from this area so far. That BCI van making their way in, 
two vehicles making their way out. One of them was of a mobile crisis response team that left the scene. What can that tell us about the process of this investigation and how things are happening in the apartment complex? It's not clear, but I want to remind you that the police chief for New London is currently at that apartment complex, according to people that have spoken to us. Should as they are continuing their investigation, we should be able to get words from him later on as this investigation continues. Okay, Stephen, thank you. Uh, go ahead and um, get to work uh, like I know you will and see what you can find out. We'll come back to you here in a little bit. You can break down and go see what you can learn. Um, we do want to mention that Stephen Hernandez reported that that building has been evacuated and that police were only letting uh, relatives or friends or people who were coming to pick people up um, into that area. This is the Windy Acres apartment complex. Um, and we can see uh, that's the sheriff, members from the sheriff department. We do want to mention that this is a new London police department uh, investigation right now. They are, however, obviously going to get quite a bit of help uh, from the sheriff's office and also from BCI there. Uh, so uh, again, unclear what happened, but we do know that a mass shooting event involves at least three people. So uh, we're not going to speculate on if it was three or any more than that, uh, if that includes the shooter. We just do not know at this point, but we do have a reporter on the scene now, and we should be getting more information as uh, as it comes in. Do want to mention that we are just about an hour and 10 minutes away from uh, our three and a half hours of live local news continuing at three o'clock. Nicole Versansky will kick us off at three. I'll join her at four. Uh, Tiffany Tucker is here at uh, five o'clock and then Tiffany and I uh, will handle the six o'clock show today uh, as we work our way through this and we will have up to the minute reports on everything that's going on at this apartment complex again in New London. Again, this is on the border of Lorraine and Huron County. Uh, as we continue to see people uh, coming into and exiting the uh, apartment complex there, that's just a civilian. Uh, you can tell by the license plate. So um, that's gonna do it for right now. That's what we are dealing with, uh, mass shooting at the Windy Acres apartment complex. 19 News with the crew on the scene as we continue to work our way through this. The new London Police Department is working this case. Uh, the chief is inside the building. He's expected to be out soon. And as soon as we have some new information, we will be back here on uh, our digital platforms. And of course, again, our newscast begins in just about an hour and 10 minutes. Have a good afternoon, everybody. 19 News is everywhere. Download our CTV apps and follow us on social media at Cleveland 19 News.